go into the master here and add a limiter. And what that will do is basically just limit those peaks so it's not clipping. a bit loud. In fact, we can actually go ahead and turn up our drums. Our drums have got a bit lost, so uh, let's turn them up. We've got them on our drum bus, so turn up the drum comp and the drums themselves. save and there we go we've pretty much got the track it's a lot fatter crisper cleaner we've took out all the low frequencies and things that didn't need them we've actually got the levels all nice and compact everything's working together as a whole and I think it's a pretty good job so I'm going to show you a little bit about the, the mastering technique at the yeah. end now um, because you're going to be playing the track in your DJ sets, you want to be able to play something that sounds roughly the same as the other things you're playing. But at the same time, you don't want to be overcooking it. You don't want to be taken away from the, the mastering engineer's job. And what I'm going to show you here is a very subtle way of mastering. So, but it, so it gives you the level we need, it makes the track as loud as everything else, but we're not overcooking it, okay? So let's go here. Simple, go to our output. You see we've got our limited there. What we'll do first is actually uh, add the, the compressor, the logic compressor, okay? Now, I think in here we've got, no, there's no compression. So let's turn the threshold up for a start. Go to a section where our track is actually kicking off. It's nice to have a bit of compression on your mix output. And the reason being is only just a couple of dBs and that's just to squash the whole thing together. If I zoom in on this, you can see that I actually haven't got, I've only got two Ds of compression, two Ds. Keep this compression ratio really slow, really low. Okay. So there we go, start with the compressor. Make sure that you're not Clipping the output. Okay, now the next thing I like to insert is we'll go right ahead over to the PSP Vintage Warmer. And what we'll do, there's nothing on here right at the moment. Zoom in on this. More limited enabled. Okay, let's do a little bit of warm, tiny bit. And as you can see there, it's never going right above zero because of the brick wall limiter in the vintage warmer. So 
So you can see on the vintage warmer, I'll turn it off while I'm doing this. You can see all I've done is added a tiny little bit of drive. I've not done any compression with the knee setting here. There's no compression at all. All we're doing is adding a little bit of tape saturation for that added little bit of fatness. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of high end or low end. But we don't need it. And you can see down here that we're not clipping our outputs. We've got a nice even level. But we're still leaving some headroom for the mastering engineer if need be. There's one thing about mastering I can't stress enough though is not to overcook it. Just do very subtle things. What you want to do is we want to be able to play your track out and it compares to the other things that you're playing. So, but be careful with mastering. And if you're unsure about mastering, leave it alone. Just make sure that your output's not clipping. Leave it alone, leave it to a mastering engineer. So that was the final episode in the D. Ramirez Masterclass. I've took you through uh, the whole process of making a track from start to finish starting from the actual process of getting your ideas right up to the finished mix basically. Now you can understand the, the track is quite rough but uh, hopefully I've given you some techniques along the way which are going to be very helpful. Um, it's quite basic stuff, there's a lot more to it. As I said I can sit for months working on, on, on tracks. But as a starting point it's uh, hopefully I've given you everything you need and all the ammunition you need to get going. So a big thank you goes out to Icon Collective if you want to learn more about these topics, please go to www.learntoproduce.com. Stay tuned. You never know, you might see more from me in the future. Bye.